Hi, so today I'm gonna to share with you guys a closer look at the Pig and All items that I have that are of a kinds. So this is only my Pig and All of a kind items. I'll definitely do another video sharing the other um, items that I have as well. So I just wanna give you guys a closer look, explain why they're like such a little specialty love and it looks like they're going to be releasing more of the Evokine soon. So let's get started and take a closer look. I'm Tammy Inman and this is A Peach Life. So I'm going to move some of these out of the way now that we are docked back here. Okay, so I absolutely love the Paganol items, but the Evokine are just so special and it's not one of a kind it's of a kind which is such a cute little name and they have it could be two it could be seven but it's a lot of little vintage fabrics that they use and they make them into their normal size pouches and then sometimes custom size pouches the of a kinds go super quick so i'm going to warn you of that right out the gate and let you know that and I know somebody some people are gonna think oh no she's telling more people about them because they do go that quick but I love to share the things that I love and I get asked questions like like people mentioning like oh, I can never find those different fabrics like that you have or um, what is that or what's the special thing to it so let me share that about it with you as we go through the sizes we do a little comparison so you have an idea. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so right out the gate, the I'm gonna share with you these two sizes and tell you a little bit more about the of a kinds. This is the drafter pouch. And I'm sharing the same fabrics. And this one is the essentials. The essentials you'll notice has the little fabric on the side and the smaller zip pouch opening. And the drafter pouch has a full size with a wider mouth opening. I'll show the little compa comparison. Let me move some more of these items out of the way so you can get a really great look at those. So you can see it has the wider gusseted bottom here on the essentials. Yes, I don't want to mess you guys up. It also is um, a little taller than this one here. And this is a little wider. This holds my black wing pencils. So if that helps you out and you know how those are quite long, they tend to fit, uh, they fit in here. Sometimes I will notice the sizes are slightly different, but that's, you know, sometimes with having handmade, which is so special to have, so I don't mind. Sometimes your zippers on the other kinds will be different and because they're utilizing what they have. So I can show you, where did my little label go? I'll pull it back here. So here we'll tell you the fabric, the little vintage fabric she used and what your inside liner is. So this is Spice. So if you're sometimes thinking what colors or what you might like, or you think you don't have a color, look at your interior of an of a kind item, and that will show you um, some of the standard, I don't know if I'd say standard really, but some of the, the options of colors that they carry most of the time, if it's not sold out. So the pig and all, if you follow them, they share in their stories and different things when they're making of a kinds and such. And then you really need to join their email list. And there's no affiliation, no nothing. It's just really me sharing the little love and goodness with you guys about them. Um, again, because I'm asked and then friends and, and people in my group will be text messaging me and asking, when's this? When's the launch? When am I going to do it? How do I find? Really just get there, get on their email list. They'll share the information for you. They'll share when they're going live with the of a kinds and you have an idea of what you want and it, it doesn't seem to matter to me if I have an idea or not. I just sort of go with it. So I'm going to show you what's in this bag so you kind of know um, what you can 
fit in here. This one holds my mild liners. I tend to use the brush tip a lot. I love when I create in my art journals, little creative journals. It has a fine tip point. Even though I like these other Lee Pin fine tip points, I'll share that with you. This one's my kind of go-to I keep with me. I'll toss in like my little travel bag. I have a little lip gloss, pencil, some pins and markers, um, some little stickers, whoops, sorry. Little travel scissors. I mean, it's just packed full. I just want to show you all that it holds erasers, some like white out, a little tin of stickers, a glue stick, a water brush for you never know watercolor painting. There's my little tag again. So it's spice also interior. So I love this. This will just get thrown on my desk a lot of times and then I just throw it right in my tote bag for on the go. It kind of has a little bit of everything that I need in here and you can see there's still plenty of little space in there. Okay. So I have, um, I have another essentials little tote and this one is in the fabric dolly. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. They had another little um, like satchel, a small one in this dolly fabric. And of course, I could just kick myself for not grabbing it in time. So if you're out there in the world <laughs> and you have that dolly little satchel and you're thinking of releasing it, contact me. I so will purchase. Okay, so in this one, it's just filled with lots of my different little highlighters. I like having them all together for when I read my books or magazines or however, checking off my list, grabbing the different little things. I love having them all in here. So these are the two essentials. They have the larger gusseted bottoms. They're just wonderful goodness. I'm gonna bring in one more of the drafter pouch to share with you. I don't have my tag in here. These are the Lee pins I mentioned. They have the nicest, finest little tip point. Mm, I love those so much. Okay, so these two are the same. They're more narrow and long. And again, these are the ones that hold the black wing and these are the drafter pouch. Now you can just get these in their solid colors. They have a new color uh, marigold, which is this gorgeous yellow that I am in love with. And I think I bought like one of everything in that color. Well, I didn't buy the satchel, um, but I bought the, oh, I actually did. I bought the small satchel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So there's those guys. I'm going to give you a little look here so you can kind of see that difference in the lineup of them. Let's see if I can't go a little higher there. Okay, just so you could tell, they're wider, the bottom shorter, uh, these are narrower, these are longer. These are like really good go-tos. But if you're also looking for something to house like longer, regular or longer, um, pens and colored pencils and stuff. There's the Scribbler pouch and the inside of this one's Spice. The outside's Camille. It's just like this lovely warm vintage fabric. So in here I just have my little um, click art uh, markers in here. I do tend to put like my longer ones in because it has a nice height but I do like to just kind of go like that and lay them out and kind of go through those while I'm creating. It's really nice. So I have that one here and here. I have some of the solid color ones as well. So these are some long markers. These are Stampin' Up. I actually really like these. They don't make them anymore. 
they're really good because they have a nice, um, let me get a color that you can see. They have a really nice brush and a super tiny little fine tip. So it's like the best of both worlds. It's my, um, the other two different sets of markers, the all in one, but they don't make these anymore. And I don't have as many colors as I would love to have, but those would really be my favorite. And then over here, oh, I did show you these ones, but I have another one, which is one of the solid colors, not of a kind that houses colored pencils. And that is really lovely to just kind of pour them and go through them. So this is the Scribbler's pouch. I'm gonna to toss that in there. And then let me show you just for the comparison, it has like a narrow, I really should have been watching my camera there. Hopefully I got all that in there. Uh, narrow, little gusset bottom, sorry. And then the width, so you can see that part is kind of similar. You can see the drafter pouch is a pinch. Well, it's about the same, I would say. The drafter pouch might be a little tiny pinch longer. Okay, but just so you have an idea of what they all look like. together. I don't know. So many times I kind of want to know like that. So that's why I share it with you guys because I would like to see like, oh, what is that little size comparison? And what's that like next to the other one? So if I'm oversharing too much, that, that is why I just kind of doing what I like. Now I'm going to share with you a size that is just, <clears throat> I feel like it's a favorite. It's called the Scholar Pouch. And I really love it because it holds a lot of the stickers and things that I like that are long. So I feel like that's a really good one. I'm really zoomed in here with you guys today. Let me see if I can't back that out a bit. I apologize. I think maybe my camera little setup is maybe loose and it keeps coming down. I'll have to check that out. But I really like that for these long stickers. It's also great for like pens and pencils and rulers and maybe if you wanna take a little paint <clears throat> watercolor palette and such with you. It really holds, it's really cute for holding these longer items. Whoops. Okay, so I really love it for that, and I love to be able to just take that with all my different stickers and like the little sticky club stickers and, and so on, just all fit in here really nicely. But I've also utilized my other ones to throw in pins and markers and a watercolor palette and so on. But this Scholar pouch is really great. If you go on to the website, and you just look at the standard colors that they carry, it will have the sizing for you. But this scholar pouch is just, here's the little width for comparison. It's so good. It's like not overly wide, but not, uh, but not without any sort of gusset. Um, I like having that little bit there which is really, really wonderful. And then the little spender pouch. How cute is the little spender pouch? Oh my goodness. Um, I use the little spender pouch and the saver pouch to carry like a little watercolor on the go kits to throw like in my purse. And it's really great. This is just like a little seal. I think it's for like a little bottle cap or I don't know, it's like a, you're supposed to be able to put it on like a little can or something. I use it to pour a little water when I'm waiting at the restaurant. I could pour a little water from my glass in there and then it gets me started on creating and painting. This little booklet is by Pagan All, except for it comes long. 
So it's this exact like little height, but it comes longer. And I trimmed mine down to make a little on the go watercolor booklet. And I believe it's um, Windsor Newton sketch paper that they put inside there. Okay, so that is my little travel kit in the spender pouch. And then this one here, I thought it was in the of a kinds. It's the little emblem from the book. I forget what it is. It's a Lemony Snicket's book. And I keep my Copics in here. I wish it was just like a pinch taller so I could keep my Copics upright. So I will turn them like that when I'm working at my desk. And but I wish I had one that was just like a pinch taller so I can keep my Copics upright and then just zip it close. That'd be dreamy, so I'm still on the look. And I don't want it like so deep where they're kind of weighed down in there, just like a little bit more. But this is wonderful and I just kind of turn them so when I'm working on them, I can grab what I need. And a lot of times at my desk area, they just sit like that. So. That's great. So it looks like these are back in stock as of when I post this video. And they're not, and it appears like they're not in the Evo kinds anymore and you could just get one and that is just too cute, the little chicken and egg. Okay, and then a couple more here to show you guys. Let me slide these guys out of the way for a moment. These are on the Evo kinds and they're just a specialty size. It's not a size they normally carry. Um, they're slightly different sizes that I got, but they're really great. Uh, I'll sh I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with them at the moment, but I knew because they're of a kind, I would love it. And these are from several different of a kind postings over time. This one holds my Sarasa different color pens. I really like having them in there and then I can lay that flat, which is best for the ink and then put it upright when I need. This one holds all my other miscellaneous type pens, markers, and such. So when I'm something I don't want to necessarily put these all individual, but when I'm looking for a particular something, I know they're in here. So I love, sorry, I love how nice it keeps everything. So cute. So this one here um, is another one of the of a kinds. I will say it, it had, um, I believe it's a size like they normally carry, but I just want to tell you like out the gate. So I keep my different papers for watercolor in here. Some of the little um, booklets, not my notebooks, but the little booklets that are tear out like a sheet. So I keep all that in here, but I altered mine. So I don't want you uh, to think it will be the same. I flipped it inside out and I made like a larger gusset at the bottom so that I can fill it with more. So now it's shorter and I can fill it with more items. So before it was a little taller, yeah, a little taller, um, and it didn't have the nice wide bottom. So, but however, on the other kinds, like I said, the sizes can vary, and some of them will be like their standard sizes, and they'll label the name and such on it. Um, but I wanted to just kind of share about that of a kind because they, they are limited, they go really fast. Every once in a while, like maybe a week or less later, you might find one that happens to still be there. But for the most part, the first day, second day, third day, they are just sold out super, super fast. Um, I love them all. Even their standard colors are so wonderful. And I have lots of them that are the standard colors. I'm gonna share my little tote bag that I have. This is their smallest of the tote bags. And this one was in of a kind because of the fabric that's on it. 
Um, you can purchase them not in the of-a-kind section. Pretty much always they're in stock in different colors. But this guy is just so cute and warm. And this clip doesn't come on. It comes with um, also a nice leather strap as well. It has the outside pocket, the inside pocket. And I've shared this in past videos. You can take a look if you want to see how much it holds and all that it holds because it is a wealth. You can see like the sizing right there, hands. But it is so good. It is my like favorite go-to, that is for sure. Okay, so that is a look at my different Pig and All of a Kind items. I believe that's all of them. I feel like I'm missing maybe one or two might be floating around somewhere in my desk area. And again, I added this one in because I thought it was in the of a kinds at one point in time, but it looks like it's not, but it's so cute and special to have that on there. And again, all of them are wonderful. They come in lots of nice solid colors and I have quite a few of those as well. But, um, just to know if you're if that is what you're desiring and of a kind then i recommend definitely signing up for their email list watching their um instagram or facebook stories they're always sharing like the new little materials they found things that they're working on right now so it just gets you super excited for them ready and again Sharing with more people. I mean, they already have so many people who love it, but sharing with more people definitely is going to limit uh, the items I'm going to be able to get, but that's okay. I feel like what I'm meant to have um, will be there for me, and if not, then it wasn't meant to be, and it was meant to be yours. So thank you, guys. If you have a favorite one that you saw or size or you want to know more about it, let me know in the comments. I answer everything. If you're a part of my uh, A Peach Life group on Facebook, I can give share a little more detailed info if you want a little quick video on something or a little comparison of a size. I have lots of other sizes as well. But if you enjoyed it or liked this video for any reason, I'd appreciate if you guys liked it. It really helps me and uh, I enjoy sharing my videos with you guys of the things that I love. So thank you so much.